Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel where I cover a variety of different data science and analytics topics. Today we're going to be talking about uh, social network analytics um, or graph analysis, directed graph analysis. Um, and so this is going to be part of a series. And in fact, today um, we're going to be talking about data setup. This is part two. Uh, part one was an introduction, and we're going to go through several different parts here. Um, so, hopefully, you'll join me, and um, we can uh, get get some interesting conversations going. Okay, so I'm going to first I'm going to close this because I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, a directed graph from from scratch. And we're going to be using a, a data set. Um, called uh, Restaurant Influencers. So it's all about restaurants and people at restaurants. So I'm going to open this, um, oops, I'm sorry, I'm going to create a new graph and, and I'm going to use plain text. You can use database or, or graph ML. And I'm going to use plain text and an edge list. And I'm going to choose my file. And this file is included um, in the platform. So, um, this restaurant influencers. I'm going to click OK. Um, column names are in the first line, um, and so in note I can I can uh, actually import multiple files if I want. Um, I'm going to do save and and next. Um, before I do that, let's take a quick look at what uh, columns are in this data set. So again, it is uh, customers and they are rating different restaurants. Um, so we have a customer identifier here. You can see the multiple rows for this one person, where they are going and what reviews they're leaving. The restaurant ID, so a unique ID to the restaurant um, right here. And the restaurant name, the type, cuisine type of the restaurant, a rating for the restaurant, um, the count of ratings, the totals for this particular uh, customer, and whether the uh, customer is an influencer or non-influencer. Okay, so that's the data that we're going to be working with in this particular example. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set up the uh, the network itself. All right, so I've imported the customer's uh, uh, file, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define these actor classes. And so what I want to do is the first column I'm going to bring in the customer to identify the column types. I'm sorry, the, the columns themselves. I'm going to say that this is going to be string, and we'll leave the name as customer, and we'll add that. Second column that we're going to enter is the restaurant ID, and that's also going to be string. And I'm just going to shorten the name to restaurant and drop that down as well. So now that we have these these two things, we need to to set up the um, properties uh, for these particular uh, columns. So on this this property right here. I'm going to set up, this is the, the customer, um, I'm going to set it up as a influencer, and that type is going to be string, and then I'll add that in, and then we'll click OK there. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, to go to this restaurant ID and set up its properties. And so it has three properties. It has the name, and that's a string. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to say the cuisine type is string, and I'm going to add that. And then finally, I'm going to say the count of ratings, and that's going to be an integer type, and I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to click OK. All right, so now that I, I now have my properties set up, my, my uh, my actor classes and and those those properties, and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the relationship. So if I click save and next, 
I'm directed, I'm just following this menu down, right? It's taking the platform is taking me through these, these particular ones. So the relationship classes, I'm going to say that the actor class, the first actor class here is going to be customer. And then I'm going to define this. I'm going to, I'm going to type in eats at, and then I'm going to say a restaurant. Um, and then I'm going to add that down. And now that I have, I have that, I just need to set the properties for this and it has one property and it's going to be rating and the rating is going to be an integer as we said before. And I'm going to click okay. All right. So let's continue on with, Again, I've got this, so I'll say next. And then the last part of this section is the network name and whether it's a, a remote network. So a remote network will create a multi-graph network and, and we don't have a multi-graph network here. So I'm gonna call this uh, restaurant, um, restaurant um, influence search. And uh, I'll just put it all together and then click finish. And what's going to happen is it's going to create, it's going to put all the information that, I, that I've that i got and put that together. And then it's going to pop out a, um, a graph structure for that information. So hopefully that'll take just a, just a second. And it'll pop out. And then the next thing that we, we're going to do, by the way, we're going to set up some options and then that will conclude this video. All right, there it goes. So now I've got my a, a working uh, directed graph. Now I'm going to make this look better. I, I'm going to go in here on the upper right. I'm going to click this cog here. I'm going to make this the the length 70 to space it out a little bit and i'm going to reduce the width i'm going to leave the other settings uh okay for here then then i'm going to go to each uh class actor class and i'm going to make this look a little bit make this look a little bit better so I'm, by default i've got these i'm just going to delete these And then I'm going to um, take the asterisk, the the customer, and I'm going to set up a an icon. So I'm going to set up an image. And again, I'm going to make this look a little bit better. So I'm going to scroll down here, and if I can find, um, I think I missed it. Um, have all these different ones. Here's here's a, a person. So I'm going to select OK for that, and that will be that image. And then I can select color, and then let me select kind of a dark blue for that. Um, and then I need to give it a label, and I'm just going to label it uh, customer, and I'm going to add that in. And then I'm going to add another one. I'm going to add this restaurant and icon for the for the restaurant is there should be an appropriate icon here here's a fork and spoon i'm going to use the fork and spoon for that and then color let me just select green and i'm going to add that in and then lastly i'm going to set relationship uh class options here and then that'll be the, the last thing we do, and then we'll we'll end up uh, saving saving this off. So what I want to do here is the relationship class. Remember, we said that we created that eats at, and we're going to make this rating, um, and we're going to add that. And um, whoops.
Let me. Um, it doesn't want to save that. Let's go back and look at this. Okay, so this one, I am actually on the restaurant. I'm missing the label. I think that's what's throwing us off. So um, I've got this. Let me select um, the restaurant ID here and add. Now go to this ah, and then save. So now I'm going to save it and boom. And now I get something that looks uh, much more um, along the lines of, of what we're trying to do here, where I have individuals, um, by the way, so I can scroll here, obviously I can, I can zoom in, zoom out, et cetera. Um, and then I can uh, click on individual uh, actors as well. So if I click on this, this actor right here, this user 1080, I can see that there's there's four different restaurants that they're associated with. Um, but I'm seeing something that I don't like. This is the the number I want the actual um, I want the actual uh, name. So I'm going to delete this restaurant. I'm going to go in restaurant. Got that. Got that. And I want. The restaurant name here um, and add that and then save ah this is what I want okay so now when I click on an individual actor I can see the restaurants pop up for that actor um, if I need to uh, you know uh, zoom in and, and pull out I can do that as well so I can see that churches tacos uh, and then carnitas mate hamburgers, et cetera. So, um, so anyway, uh, we've got some cool stuff ahead and, but I just wanted to show you how to set this up. So again, this was part two data setup, and then we'll go into uh, part three where we're talking about clustering and then we'll talk about scoring and some other things. I hope you can join me then.